The tricks were over, and the dolls grabbed me, wobbly and woozy and unable to speak, and dropped me back into the cave under the floor. They didn't know I was thinking about them. I believe I was at the tail end of detoxifying, because I felt a faint tingling coming all over me in waves, which is the only worthwhile take from this nightmare. I didn't struggle anymore or press up on the boards. I only wanted to be to rest and be safe from Black and his experiments. I slept for what I thought was a long time because I actually woke up feeling like my engine's been recharged. I couldn't hear anything going on up above me, but felt cool air circulating by my feet. I had a crazy idea I might tunnel through the earth like some lucid dreamer. The more I thought about this, tunneling to my freedom, the more the earth below me seemed to soften and move. I focused even harder, shutting my eyes to envision, and I felt some greatness in myself, like a spirit I forgot was there again. And then came a stirring around me, a stewing in the darkness, a simmering in reduction. I guess I wasn't the only one who believed in me. There were earthworms and the earth itself. I felt around and sure enough, my cave had opened up in some spots and was shifting to accommodate me. I must have lost my mind because I was imagining roots rustling, imagining sprouts and vines snaking and moving about and intertwining, climbing above me. I even had a vision of AIM walking into Black's apartment, so vivid I could feel her footfalls. I lost my mind, I thought. But at least the imagery was not disheartening. And hell, I wasn't going to complain if my thoughts wished to entertain me in my final days. Well, anything was better than the earthen walls of emptiness underground. <laughs>